Ooh, welcome everyone to another episode of Slasher Scotty. I am your host, Scotty McCoy, and boy, do I have a surprise for all of you. I have on Zoom with me right now Troy Froman, and he played Ox in Saved by the Bell. Hey, Troy, how you doing today? Oh, Ariel, you are my favorite Disney princess ever. You're so cute, especially when you do your high, your little eye with that starfish. <laughs> Give me a kiss. Oh. 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 Uh, hey, what's up there, buddy? Uh, what's this on the on the screen? Uh, got it. Not leave meeting. Okay. And uh, what's up, man? Uh, that, that, I, I treat all my towels the same way. So don't be judgmental. <laughs> Not judging at all. How you doing, Trey? I'm doing good. Um, hold on. Someone's bugging me here. Okay. Tommy, what's up, man? It's my son, Tommy. Why are you wearing that mask? Get that thing off. Daddy, I wear the mask because I'm allergic to your, your, your two cats, Buddy Cup. And Buddy Cup. And, 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 and uh, what's that stupid ass name, Cat? Tabitha. Buddy Cup and Tabitha. They have the rule of the household. And they, and they make me sick, so I wear my masks around them, and, and I have other masks that I use to scare them, too. Ha, 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 Hey, Daddy, who's that? What, what, are you, what are you doing, Daddy? Oh, that's my friend, um, that's my friend, uh, Slasher Scotty. Uh, <laughs> Slasher! You know, you're like Michael Myers and Freddy Krueger and all that stuff. It's has been giving nightmares and stuff. No, 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 I don't know what. Why do they call you Slasher Scotty? So I started my interview way back when, when I was, because uh, I'm a big horror movie fan, obviously. So I interviewed people that I grew up watching from Friday the 13th, Halloween, you know, people I grew up watching and all that. And I absolutely, you know, enjoyed doing that. And then, uh, so Slash just got to play awards, SS, you know, they both going to S. Um, and then I decided to branch out where I have, you know, people from other genres, whether it's musicians, actors from other films or television shows. And that's why I'm so glad to have you on because I am a big Save by the Bell fan. That's great. Maybe I can... Hey, Daddy, maybe you can name yourself soon in the couch all day, mother effer, fat ass <laughs> Roman. <laughs> when that... Tommy, weren't you supposed to be across the street playing with your friend Charlie? Oh, well, we were, but then Charlie, he, he did something very, very naughty, Daddy. What did he do? Oh, no, I don't want to. Oh, okay. Uh, he said, close your eyes, Tommy, and open your mouth and you will get a big surprise. So I did not really trust him. And I have enough sense of that because I've seen you to make too many mistakes. So he, he, I, I was peeking and he's putting a, a piece of toilet paper with poo poo on it. I'm sure it was his. And I said, no, no, you don't do that. You don't do that. And then, then Charlie says, no fair. You were peeking. Well, I came home and I'm not talking to him anymore. Um, so. Uh, why don't you go sit down and, and, and get a snack or something? I will. I, anything I want. Yeah, anything. Oh, boy. <laughs> hey, man. I'm sorry about him. No, you're fine. I love it. I love it. And he, said, he seems like a very, very amazing person. He interviews most. He, he interrupts most of my interviews. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, I'm very honored to have him interrupting this one. All right, cool. Well, let's start off with with uh, getting to know Troy. How did you get your start as an actor? Well, it's the same story many people have heard. A, I'm just like you. When I was a young boy, I'm 54, 55-ish right now. I, I can't think right now. <laughs> anyway, my birthday is in January. As a young boy, like you know, 12, 13, 10, whatever, I just got science fiction, fantasy, and horror on my mind. I'd go to my grandma's for the weekend and look in the TV guide. I'd circle Frankenstein, Curse of the Mummy, everything. And I watched them the, whenever I could, like they'd go to work and then the, the maid, uh, they had a maid there and she'd watch over me while I watched this movies all day long. And I just couldn't get enough of it. Sometimes I would wake up as a kid and go in the, the living room and watch it in a movie. And I'd be, wake up in the morning if I fell asleep, you know, anything. I couldn't get enough of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I, do, I always said to myself, I want to be in one of these movies. So the, my first thing is, I was reading Stephen King's um, The Stand like mm -hmm. maybe 13, 14, and I went, man, if they ever make a movie of this, I just wish I could be a dead body laying on the ground. But, but my dreams came true, and I've done a lot more than being a dead body. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And and it, it's great because, I, like I said, I'm a big Save by the Bell fan. And uh, I, when I, like I told you before, um, before I started recording, I've had you 
uh, I didn't even realize you were on my Facebook. I, I have so many people on my Facebook. And I'm like, when I seen you posting a, a residual check on there, I'm like, wait, I have Ox on my Facebook. I didn't even know this. And I, I immediately knew who you were because I'm a, I'm a big Stay With Bill fan. I know every every character pretty much on the show. And I loved Ox. I thought he was very funny and amazing. Um, So how did you become part of the cast? Well, I have a manager and an agent at the time uh, after doing many um, low-budget films and studio film, pay, paying my dues basically working for free and then on this one movie i met this guy uh, and he said uh, let me introduce you to my my manager so i got the manager and an agent deal together as a package and then she, she sent me out for auditions here and there one day saved by the bell audition came up as as the bully scud and they sent me the papers and everything so i went in there audition for scud and, and i got it obviously and then a couple of weeks later, pastors, a little bit of time, and they said, uh, they want you as a football player named Ox now, but you got to go down there and, and do the, you know, the protocol uh, audition. So, so they said I had to go in there and then I get into the, <laughs> you're fired. <laughs> and then I, I did so good. They, they wrote me in and like, hey, you were going to use you next week. And then a couple of weeks later, they called me, hey, uh, Troy Velva this week. So I... I did nine of them total. One is Ox. I mean, nine is Ox, eight is Ox and one is Scud. And there was one week where they um, uh, was doing Wonder, Wonder Years. I did one in between them. And then the Wonder Years wanted me again, but I was already booked for the Save by the Bell. So the Wonder Years got pissed off and never called me back. Hmm. But, you know, whatever. That was a, a week where everybody wanted me. Peace of Absolutely. me. Absolutely. So what yeah. was the experience like working on the show? It was fun. It was, um, the, the, you know, they were young kids. They'd run around, joking around. And I, as far as the books and the rumors go, I never saw any any sex or drugs or anything wrong at all. Nothing. There was just everybody was nice. It was cool. I had my own little room there. And it was fun. Nice. Uh, yeah, I, I never really made friend friends with any of them. Like mm -hmm. Dustin Diamond, I hung out in his, well, God bless his soul. Uh, I hung out in his dressing room and his Dad was there playing video games all day because he needed supervision. So, you know, we'd hang out and play video games in, in, the, in his rooms, you know, here and there. Nice. Yeah, that was actually one of my questions was, did you know any about any of those rumors? Did you see any behind-the-scenes drama or anything like no, that? No, I saw nothing. If I did, <laughs> I'd probably, you know, make a few bucks selling my own book. No, but no, I, <laughs> nothing, nothing Ooh. bad. That's good. That's good. So um, what do you believe like was the hardest part on being on the show? Like wh what's like, what do you think would be like the most challenging with doing this show? I never had a problem. It, it all came natural to me. Okay. There was like only one time during the live taping that I, I flubbed a line and they had to reset in front of the whole audience and stuff. Wow. But they always did that anyway. But that, yeah. I only had one flub in my nine, nine episodes. Uh, back then, I was, you know, I was younger. I had more brain cells. I could remember things. I could still do it now, but it's, it's just looking back, it's like, how did I learn all those lines for Scud? And, you know, like now, it like, might be more difficult for me, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, did they allow you to do any improv improvisation at all, or was it all like you had to memorize your lines? Uh, I did one thing that that caught on. I added on the, when Lisa, the turtle girl, Black mm -hmm. girl's talk, and then she said something to me, and the, and then I tap her on the shoulder. She turns around. I go, I go, boy, I, I made that up, and they kept nice. it. Nice. I'm the inventor of boy. I don't care what they say. That's awesome, and that's I love when every time you say that, I laugh. I'm like, just the delivery of you saying bye is hilarious to me. It's Thank great. You. Absolutely, and that is the a biggest compliment because I I absolutely love. You know, like, obviously, when you are a character, you try to make it your own, but you're also, like, certain characters have their catchphrases, or they have their thing, and Ox's thing is that bi. That's what I always thought. Ox's thing was that bi. And that's, I just love that about him. Yeah. Thank you. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, um, if you were offered to return for the reboot on Peacock, or were you even offered to return, to the, would you do it? Well, it's it's been canceled, but yes, I did. I put a whole mm -hmm. campaign out called um bring back uh you know, hashtag bring back ox okay a few, a few years back when they first announced that they're getting it together mm -hmm. 
And then I, I, I sent it everywhere, everyone, to the producers, the directors, everybody. And, the, you know, what's her face? Um, I can't think of her name. Uh, Tracy, May, the main chick. Elizabeth, Tracy, Elizabeth Berkeley? Tracy Wigfield, I think her name is. Oh, okay. Uh, she's the main, the main. main oh, I got it. Yeah. So then one, one day, my, my day, my manager called up and said, hey, there's this guy named Man in Line Part 2. And he's he's doing something stupid. So I'm going to. I'm going to contact them and suggest that you do it because I gave him like, you know, if you see anything for the, for the reboot, mm -hmm. try to get us in there. And they, they bit and they auditioned me and I was the man in line part two. And it's nice. on my YouTube channel. Nice. Um, you should check out, please this is a subscribe to my uh, Troy from and YouTube, you and everybody else watching this. By yeah. the way, what's your audience numbers? Don't so lie to me. I won't lie to you. My YouTube channels aren't that good uh, because it is fairly new. Um, I have I have about a little over 400 uh, subscribers on there. Um, my my actual production company channel has almost 4,000 uh, subscribers on that one. Um, oh. Yeah, and then I have uh, on my audio version. I have like because I'm on like I extract the audio from this uh, video interview and I put it on like Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, and all that. And those are pretty good. I get about between ten to fifteen thousand to twenty five thousand a day, depending on what um, on what like I guess the day is. So Friday might have more than say Saturday because more people might listen on a Friday at work. Or are you are you are you actually making any money off of doing this podcast? And I used to um because I had an ad that aired before the podcast um but because I was making a lot of money off it they actually said your ad ended and now I'm making nothing. Why? But I mean they I mean, you're making too much because they're making you making too I'm much. I'm making about two two hundred dollars. They probably expected me to make like a month. They were probably expecting me to make because I made like three cents like every time an ad was listened to by a unique. Yeah. Business. So it was nothing major. But but you're not making a living off of it. Then. I'm not making a living off of it. My full-time job is, I don't know how these yeah. things work. Yeah, my full-time job is a senior web developer for the United States Coast Guard. Nice. Yeah, so that's my full-time job. That's what I do to pay the bills. Now, can anybody do that? Like my son Tommy, or do you have to be like a high uh, educated genius kind of? Well, I do. I have. A, I went to school for uh, six years for a four-year degree, uh, mainly because of scheduling. So I do have a bachelor's degree, and I just got accepted into graduate school to get my master's because I also want to work part time as an educator in uh, in programming. Because I've done that in the past at my alma mater, but I would like to actually, uh, you know, teach at another school and teach students how to be programmers. Have you ever made your own video game? I haven't. I haven't. I, I'm a web weird. developer, so I make websites. Like I make a lot of like I, I make websites. Like for my job with the U.S. Coast Guard, I basically they I there's like a portal that the the Coast Guard people will have access to on the cutters, and I help them uh, get the coordinates to go to help with search and rescue missions. And I give it. Daddy, them. who's interviewing who, Daddy? Let him talk. Uh, uh, that, that's my Daddy talk. <laughs> you know who's a better interviewee? His friend Clint Culp. Don't don't start with me with Clint again. Goodbye, Daddy. You don't know who Clint Culp is? He's I don't. My buddy. He might buddy. Look him up and maybe he'll do an interview with you. Okay, absolutely. Yeah, I would love that. Because he gets more, more good movies and TV shows than you, Daddy. Oh, yeah? Well, by the way, I just booked... Uh, I can't see nothing more than this. I just booked, and I'm really happy, a studio film. Nice. Big-ass budget. You know, bam. Yeah. I can't see more than that. Because I okay. signed a non an NDA or whatever they call it. Yeah. You know what Absolutely. I'm talking about? Non uh, non disclosure agreement. That's it. Yes. <laughs> a little bit I had a little yeah, I can't remember things. Um <laughs> so you, uh, let's, uh, any more said by the bell stuff? Because we gotta talk about my my other stuff that's newer. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. Uh, what do you have to promote? Like, what stuff have you done and what do you have coming up? Oh, I'm glad you asked that. Um, <laughs> you, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, I'm, are you familiar with the movie St The Stalker that I'm in? Yes, I've I seen it, yes. You saw it? Yes. And I, I filmed The Stalker Part 2. Oh, I didn't know that. Coming, like, uh, over a year ago. Okay. Coming out in a couple months. Okay. Yeah, and are you asking yourself why? How could I possibly be there? How? Because what happened to me in the first one? Because you I'm died. Testing, 
How did I die? I can't remember. You didn't watch it. I did watch it. I did watch it. I swear. Where did I, I die? I, I always, I always, I, I watched it maybe a week ago. I got, there's someone in the back seat and they strangled me. Remember that? Yeah. Yes. I think. I can't remember. There's I can't more remember. Coming up. All right. <laughs> the first I'm one not going to bug with this. You should do your I, homework. I, I, I'm gonna, I'll take it easy on it. So the second one, I come back and it's not, it's not a big spoiler because everybody knows mm -hmm. that um, the guy, the real stalker, is uh, recruited me and I have no choice to be his helper in this one. Okay. And I'll just leave it at that. Okay. Because I know if I say no, he'll just kill me. Right. <laughs> right. Right. So, so I don't want to spoil any more of it because it's going to be, a, I think it's going to be way better than the first one. Nice. And where will, and anybody that wants to see that, where will that be available at? The, well, the first doctor is available on Tubi right. and YouTube and Roku. There's all the different ways to watch it. And it's free and mm -hmm. it's only an hour long. Mm -hmm. And I hope this, I hope this one's a little longer. And then my, the other movie that I got going on right now it came out actually in January is uh, Amityville Uprising. Okay. You heard of that? I heard of a lot of the Amityvilles. I don't know if I heard of Uprising because uh, is it directed by Sean C. Phillips? No, thank God, okay. no. Oh, well, <laughs> anyway. He asked me if I wanted to be in one of his movies. I said, yeah, and then I never heard from him again because I don't okay. think he wanted to pay me what I wanted. And, uh, you know, it's Thomas Churchill. Okay. He did Amityville um, Harvest, Amityville Moon. Then Amityville Uprising. It's like a kind of like a trilogy. They tie together, kind of. Okay. And mine's a zombie one. Okay. You got to check it out. Yeah. Is, is that on Tubi as well? No, that's a, that right. one. You still have to pay for it. It's like five ninety nine. Okay. Can you afford that? Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> I co-star in it, and I, this was like a dream job. If I was fourteen, wishing I could be in a movie and things happen to me, this is the one. My dream came true with this guy's part. What I go through and what happens to me—it's it's awesome. Nice. I'm so proud to be this this character in this Amityville uprising. I, I'm I'm excited to see that because I love the Amityville movies. Like, and the, yeah, the well, some movies. are some are complete trash, just yeah. ripping off the title because it's yeah. it's public domain. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. It's the public domain, so anybody can make any movie and slap Amityville in front of it. Yeah, Amityville toy box. I they don't already have that one. I mean, sandbox. <laughs> Amityville baby bottle. It just came out with right. Amityville Karen. Yeah, that's the one with the. Uh, that's actually a pretty cool thought, you know. Yeah. You know what Karen is, right? Yeah. Yep. One of those. Like, I want to see the manager. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I looked it up, but I couldn't believe it. So, uh, <laughs> I thought, yeah. I, and then I, I got in a fight with this um, this one girl didn't like my humor. I said, "Shut up, you Karen." <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah, because I, I, because I love Tubi. Tubi's for obviously it's free, and you know they have ads and everything. But I love Tubi. Type my end name into Tubi, and you'll see the Kung Fu Rascals. It's a Super Eight movie we shot years ago, yeah. and it's coming out very soon on a Blu-ray edition. Mm -hmm. I just went in, and that's Steve Wang and the other guys. If, have you seen it? Which one is it again? Kung Fu Rascals. I didn't see that. One. Watch it, and you'll see. We shot a yeah. Super Eight when we were super young. We went okay. into the studio and did all the dialogue and the music was done later. Nice. So then we had a little, uh, you know, a reunion for the Blu-ray, and we talk and do an interviews. Okay. In, in the in the special effects uh, section, nice. I mean the special features section, and that's got all. Uh, you can watch the Stalker on that one, and yep. you can watch um, Shrunken Heads, which is a full moon movie that I did when I was younger. Right. Mm -hmm. You ever see that one? Uh, no, but didn't see that one either. Oh, Slash or Scotty, I haven't watched a lot of horror films. I, mean. <laughs> I saw The Stalker, but I honestly didn't pick up that it was you that was in that. Because <laughs> I watch a lot of a lot of shit on uh, on TV. That's cool because you didn't really know me till. Yeah. Yeah, I don't look yeah. like Ox anymore, basically. Because <laughs> I like and like my my I don't know if you ever saw Bloody Summer Camp. That just got on Tubi. That's really good too. My couple. That's of my the one you're in. No, I'm not in that one. Uh, a couple of my friends are in that one. Well, you're in some. You're. I looked you up. You're in some kind of movies, right? Yep. Uh, Samhain, otherwise known as Sam Hain, I was in. I was in uh Frosty Revenge season bleeding three. Um, I was in uh seventy two is our other movie that's coming out uh next year. Yeah.
Do you still uh, you still gonna direct movies and stuff? I don't really do the directing. I do acting and executive producing. I usually hire other people to do the directing because uh, it's a lot more work than I'm probably more right. talented to do all that. Well, maybe then one day we'll work together. Maybe. Yeah, I would love that. I would absolutely fly, love that. Fly me to Maryland. That's how they yeah. they, they did in the the stalker. The very nice people. They 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 take airplane travel, place to stay. Uh, well, whatever. So it's like a mini paid vacation, mm -hmm. getting paid doing what you like the best. And I've gone. They did that to me twice already. Nice. We'll see if there's a see if there's another third one coming out maybe one day. <laughs> that would be great. Um, yeah, and I, I love stalker movies because I love like stalk by my doctor, stalk by my neighbor, and they come out with yeah. a whole bunch of them. Oh, that Eric Roberts trash movies. <laughs> <laughs> you know he makes a he done a, does a movie every day almost. Yeah, he's got like almost the five hundred credits in that thing, and you know he's like me. He's a uh, you know he's SAG and he does non union. And if anybody's going to get busted, it's that guy. I'm small potatoes, you know, doing, the, you know, James Balasso's movies. Right. You, ever, you heard of him? I heard James of him. Balsamo. Yeah. Balsamo. Oh, yeah. James Balsamo. Yeah. He does like It Wants Blood and all that. Yeah. I was in, yeah. I was in It Wants Blood. Oh, were you? I didn't know that. Yeah. Did you okay. see it? I, I, I did haven't see seen that one, the, but I was, I was on my list. I have a scene with Eric Roberts for a, mi a minute at, at the bar. And I go right. outside and I got a scene with James Balsamo. And then I got another scene where I'm chanting to the beast with everybody else in that room. Nice. Nice. Yeah, yeah cuz my friend who also does a podcast Greg Gilbert. I don't know if you know Greg Gilbert. He does Python's yeah. Paradise. Wait. He does Python's he hosts the Python's Paradise. Yes, podcast. yes. He, he interviewed me once, maybe twice, I don't remember. Yeah, he's a great guy. Uh one of my good friends and uh he was in uh his picture I think was in uh, the or his video or something was in uh It Wants Blood. Yeah, that's how James uh uh, builds up time in his movies he gets people yeah. send him videos and he insert, inserts them in and yeah. i don't know sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't it's right like, it's filler and free act and free credits for actors yeah stuff. absolutely and uh you, yeah you, you can get you a video you could be able to get a credit into one of his movies by yeah doing absolutely. That. Just, just messenger on me i i did i, so, I will have yeah. to and i did just one thing uh I said, uh, you know, I was like uh, at home and I just had surgery or something like that. And I, I said, you know, I'm so bored. You don't have to pay me on this one. Is there anything I can do on video for you? And he says, yeah, um, you're, you're auditioning to be an avocado. <laughs> it's hilarious. That's hilarious. Oh, my God. It, it's hilarious. Well, I put that green paint. I, I, I look like a big avocado, <laughs> sweaty and all. And, and I gave like a one minute. Thing about the life and death of an avocado. Oh my god! I think it's one of the funniest yeah. things I've ever done. That's so fucking funny. I'll try to look for it and send it to you. If you yeah, please do. And I'm gonna go back and watch the stalker again because now I know who I'm looking for. And my wife is in the donut shop in the background. Really? I'm talking, I'm flirting with the black girl or trying to flirt with her. Okay. And taking pictures of the lady's butt and stuff. <laughs> and then my wife's in the background, like reading a book or something. Nice. So she's nice. got two credits, one for that and one for Doggone, the Doggone uh, Christmas, okay. which is on Scooby also. It's a kid's movie. Okay. And that was directed by Jim Wynorski. Nice. You know that name? It sounds familiar. It sounds very familiar. Well, you should know Jim Wynorski. He did a, directed a couple hundred movies. It sounds very uh, familiar. A lot of Roger Corman movies, too. Okay. Okay. I know Roger Corman stuff. He, okay. Here, he did Chopping Mall. Okay, I know that. I know Chopping Mall. I love Chopping Mall. Chopping Mall is like his best known movie. Love Chopping Mall. Now, I knew the name sounded familiar. I knew I wasn't going crazy. He was trying to get a, a TV series that I made out of it like years later. Nice. But I, I'm not suggesting, man, that would be cool. Think about the drone, the drones that could fly around inside a mall. How bitching that would be. I even pitched yeah. that to the other guy with the 1999 class. Nice. Lester, Mark Lester or something. Oh, yeah. And they they like oh they probably think it's too much money. But I, I think it's a bitching idea, uh, you know, drone with lasers flying around. Yes. yes. There was a movie called Drone. I haven't watched it yet. That took over the house or something. So okay. I'm gonna try to watch that. Yeah, that's, that's nothing to do with anybody I, 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 I talking about. All <laughs> right, what other questions? Well, that was like my last question. I really because my interviews aren't really too long at all. I like to keep them short, sweet, to the point, get right to it, and. uh 
where can people find you on YouTube? Where can they find you on social media? Where can they? Troy uh, Froman. I keep it simple. My name, Troy Froman. Okay, there you go. That's, you know, people do these little weird names. And, you know, I, I just like to be clear. Troy yeah. Froman YouTube, Troy Froman Instagram. Okay. Troy Froman on the couch. Nice. <laughs> All right. So uh, I'll, I'll, leave, I'll leave you with a joke that I wrote. All right. You know how 7-Eleven got its name? How? By right, 7 p.m., there's 11 homeless guys out front. <laughs> Do you have that problem in Maryland? Yeah. Yeah? I'm trying not to laugh because I'm trying not to be to come off as a dick, but deep down, my, my inner child is this raising Well, that's out. the way I am. I'm an inner child. <laughs> it's okay to laugh at my jokes. Oh, my God. That, that's funny. I... And that's the thing about me. I have I I love a, a good tasteless joke. Let me see a joke, Daddy. I want to tell a joke. Okay, can I tell a joke? Yes, let's see your joke. Okay, knock knock. Who's there? Oh, um, oh, I'm fucking got the joke. Um, okay, let me start over. Knock knock. Who's there? <laughs> Cohen. <laughs> Cohen who? Oh, thank God. Cohen, fuck yourself. Goodbye. <laughs> I love it. I love it, Troy. And I loved having you on. It, if you it like my amazing. stuff, go to YouTube. Watch. I make some homemade funny videos there. I, look, check out for pumpkin patch uh, problems. Okay. Just go down the line. Pumpkin yeah. patch problems is one of my favorites. Well, Sounds good because after the, I uh, get this off, this is going to export and then save and all that stuff. And that takes a good while. So while that, I'm usually in bed so, and on my phone, so I was going to subscribe to your YouTube. Once I do that, I'm going to go down your list of videos and watch them. And Red Bot, and there, I got two YouTube channels. One's not supposed to be there. It's like a six, like 36 subscribers. You want the one that's like four or 500 subscribers. Okay. Around that okay. Perfect. And look for um, Red Box Blunder and look for Lemonade Stand. And a lot of them are very funny, I think. Awesome. Yeah, I'll definitely look at that. Um, Right after I get off here, I'll uh, subscribe. And give me a subscribe back. You know, Slasher Scotty, just simple. I think I did. I'll, I'll, I'll do it again. You I'll, may I'll have. I'll look again. Well, <laughs> I, I don't get notified every time a subscriber happens. I just like, oh, no, I promise happened. I'll do it right now. Okay, we got to go. My wife wants to take her out. All right. You have a good rest of your night, Troy. You too. Bye. Right, bye. That's very scary in your house with the pumpkins and all. <laughs> Thank you.